Hare Shalom. First and foremost, we give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rukhan Kadash. The bonus to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. And peace and salutations to the Akiyam and to the elect that are scattered across the four corners of this earth, pursuing the truth and faith and sincerity. And the brother Shamala from the GMS used account. And um, this is going to be a scripture of the day of 1 Samuel 3 and 19. And let none of his words fall to the ground. You know, dealing with Samuel, all right? Because when you're reading this chapter, you know, the Lord appeared right unto Samuel, basically to set him up, to establish him as a prophet, right? And then when you read down, right, just get straight into it, right? First Samuel 3 and 19, right? This is after he receives, you know, a, um, after the Lord appeared unto him, <coughs> he told him everything. Right, concerning Eli and the judgment that was going to happen to him. And, um, you know, then after that, right, it says in 1 Samuel 3 and 19, and Samuel grew, and Yahweh was with him, and did let none of his words fall to the ground. Right, and let's get that in the NLT. It says, as Samuel grew, Yahweh was with him, and everything Samuel said proved to be reliable. All right. CSB Samuel grew, Yahweh was with him, and he fulfilled everything Samuel prophesied. So he was dealing with Samuel, and everything that Samuel was prophesying about that the Lord gave him, he, hey, everything was coming to pass. All right, and that's why you read the next verse, first Samuel 3 and 20, and all Israel from Dan even to Bathsheba knew that Samuel was established to be a prophet of Yahweh. So the Lord was with him. And everything this man was saying, you know, the most I was backing it up. And it was coming to pass and it was happening in the earth. So the people was like, oh shit, you know, this is hey, this is this is a true, a true prophet. The Lord is dealing with this man and he's working with this man. All right. And this is for the, all of the Lord's prophets. You know, the word that they speak are gonna come to pass because the word of the most high is true. He says every man is a liar, and that the most high is not a man that he should lie. All right, so everything that we are speaking at this time will come to pass. Concerning these prophecies, all right, concerning the scriptures, these things will happen, and people will know that we were sent by the Heavenly Father. That's why you can go to Ezekiel 2 and 4. Well, I started three. And he said to me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day. For they are impudent children and stiff hearted. I do send thee unto them. And thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh power. And, and they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are rebellious house. Yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them, right? Because the things were going to start happening that we've been speaking about. But the Lord put in our spirit to say, right, just like he said to Jeremiah, hey, I touched that mouth. Basically, he said he put his words in him. So the Lord gave us his words, and we are speaking that. And unto our people, unto the world, right? And when these things are going to start happening, right? Then they will know hey, that we were true prophets. Because the Lord is going to establish everything that we said and let none of our words fall to the ground. All right. The Lord is going to, is going to back us up. Right. Because ultimately it's his word. Right? And, you know, the prophecy is going to happen anyway, but he used us. All right. We are here speaking. We are here being, you know, fools for Yahweh Shah. Hey, the Lord is going to make good on everything that we said. All right. Everything that he said. Right. Through us. Isaiah 55 and 11, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where I set it. So his word is going to come to pass. And like I said, we are the mouthpiece of him. He's using us as that mouthpiece. We are the representative. When, when people hear the word, they see us on face value. All right? So we are the ones, you know, they looking at. All right? So once these things happen, Hey, our people are gonna know. Hey, they, they, they were the prophets, the wicked of our people. 
and also the elect, right? Because the elect of all people, right? They already they already see these things, you know, um, taking place and in and, and heading towards in a direction, right, of certain prophecies to be fulfilled, like you know the 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 Karagma, you know, World War Three, the return of our Lord, right? You know, a lot of things that we are saying, you know, the elect, right, the believers, right, they they already can see it. And in and, and their experience, they already know, right, that who the who the true men of the Lord are. Right? And they flock to them and they take heed unto, unto their words. Right? But the wicked of our people will not do that. Right? They won't believe. Right? They won't see it. Right? They will have to, you know, see it when it's happening. Right. To to to, to take, you know, um to acknowledge. Right, that we were even set up by the Most High to acknowledge that what we're saying is the truth. Right, they will have to acknowledge it in death. Right, but yeah, um, that's the lesson. It's a little something because that was quick. You know, with that, you know, I'm gonna say shalom.